Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's start our learning from the module one. So when you will uh, enter into your classroom by signing into the cognitive class.ai and the Python for data science, you will be, be you will be welcomed by the welcome message. Let's play the message. So this is a kind of uh, different kind of video lectures available in the uh, classroom. So let's check it out. For example. So you will see that uh, everything is, is explained in this course as well briefly uh, and you will find this very informative. So uh, by clicking to the module one, uh, you will also uh, get a video to write your first program. After that, you will need to watch and uh, write the notes on the types. And the third thing will be the expressions and variables. Uh, so what I'm going to do in these lectures, for example, your first program types and expressions have already been explained uh, by the IBM. What not explained and what's missing is the labs. So I will be guiding you guys to perform the labs uh, in these YouTube videos. Uh, once you are comfortable with performing the labs, after two to three modules, you will be able to perform the labs at your own. And uh, this will be the starting point for you uh, learning the Python with your self capabilities. So all you need to um, stay, all you need to learn from this course is um, learning Python, but by staying uh, focused and persistence. And uh, believe me, the first five hours are difficult. After that, you will be able to learn this language uh, very easily. So we have like, uh, try your first program here print so you have like print statement it's already been written in your lab you need to execute and understand it and in the parenthesis you have hello python and um, i wrote another example like uh, print <clears throat> so let's run it you will get hello python so one thing to remember that uh, uh, for these labs you will need to have a good internet uh, so that you can uh, run these labs if you don't have the internet available you can download the anaconda and run the these codes in the jupyter notebook and that will run the python codes offline that will not require the uh, internet so if you need to check the version of your python so you can import sys sys and print sys dot version so if you run it it will show you 3.61 so we are running a python 3 not python 2 so there are two versions so practice in writing you can practice it again and for example if you incorrectly write print instead of print it will give you an error because we are humans and we can make errors so this will give you print is not defined so when you make it like print it will execute run and it will execute easily without any error next for example uh, you have like print here this will be the this will be printed and then you write print this will cause an error so obviously this is an error, error statement it will not run but after that we have print this will not be printed as well so why this will not be printed because this line has caused an error because the python is an interpreted uh, language it's not a compiled language is because the compiled language examine all of your program and then run it if it doesn't have any error python is an interpreter language interpreted language and it will run line by line so here if you see it has printed this will be printed the first line but here it says print is not defined okay so if you want to uh, make the correction you can go there and convert it to small p print then your first program uh, print hello world you can print it or you can print your name as well like for example print uh, your name is let's suppose xyz Obviously, it couldn't be a name, but just for supposition, because engineers are good at supposition. Okay, then uh, we have types of objects in the Python. So we have like uh, Python is an object oriented language and there are many different types of objects in the Python. Let's start with the most common object type strings, integers and floats. These are the very common uh, object types in the Python. So word, for example, your name, let's suppose Abdullah, your name is a combination of strings. 
and we will see what string is and mostly we will be using number type type of objects in python the second type is number and further the number could be integer in the form of 0 1 plus 1 minus 1 and it, it, it could be float 1.1 2.2 etc so if you have 11 it's an integer and if you have 2.14 it's a float and if you have uh, hello python this is a this is a type of string so if you need to check the type of uh, a data type you can say type 12 so it will show you the type of 12 it will show you the type of 2.14 which is float and it will show you the type of um, this statement which is obviously string uh, and then uh, the integers could be 0 1 and minus 1 as well for example type of minus 1 so both negative and positive integers are included in the integer and if you see the type 0 it will have type of int for example if i say type 1.0 it's float notice that 1 is an int and 1.0 is a float and then we say sys float okay let's suppose sys float info so uh, system setting about the float type so what the setting behind uh, the python libraries for the float type but we don't need to worry about it you can leave it and let's suppose you go there and you say type float 2 so obviously 2 is a, a 2 is an integer but the float will convert it to a float and when you say type so it will say uh, here it's saying float for example if i uh, delete it or i cut it and i run it now so it will say int and if i uh, write the float here it will convert 2 to the float and then int 1.1 so this is called the casting one uh, casting 1.1 integer will result loss of information for example i want only the integer value of this 1.1 so i will only get the one when you run it you will get one if you say int one so one here is in the parenthesis it's an string but writing int outside the bracket will convert it to an integer okay so if int one or two people so it will say invalid uh, literal for in with base 10 1 or 2 people so it only accepts like uh, 1 2 3 or uh, even the floats to convert it into integer but the people or or is a string so it cannot be converted into the int float 1.2 it's 1.2 it's converted into the float and then we have like boolean type boolean data is of uh, two types like true or false one is true and zero is false okay so true is true false is false type of true is bool because we know that true is a boolean type of data and float true what is the float value of true it is 1.0 but if i say what's the flow int value of true in true it will be one bool zero bool zero which is uh, false and bool zero is false float true float value of the true is 1.0 so this is an exercise for you six divided by two the type is float uh, why it's float because it is like for example what is 6 divided by 2 6 like 2 okay so we say that let's suppose x is equal to uh, 6 divided by 2 and we say like print x 3.0 and it's float okay because this is give uh, six slash to give us the uh, float values if i say five divided by two it will give me 2.5 which is a float but if i say uh, six uh, double slash two for example if i say again um, x is equal to sorry y is equal to six double slash two and print y so now it is integer because the double slash gives you only the integer value for example if i say uh, 5 divided by 2 it will give me 2 only not 2.5 because the double slash give me the integer part only division so expression expression in python can be include uh, so now let's study expression and variables so expressions in python can include operations among uh, compatible types for example basic arithmetic you can perform the basic arithmetic and this is the basic arithmetic the division integer division operation um, here like we have x is equal to 160 y is equal to x divided by 60 print y 
so you can get 2.6 is y because x is 160 and y is equals to 160 divided by 60 because x value is 160 so print this uh, and what are the variables you can store these results into a variable let's suppose x it could be anything and if you say what is the value of x it will show you 160 and then y the y is 2.6 Okay, even you can write in the form of a formula total underscore min is equal to 43 plus 42 this what is the value of total min it will give you 42 let's suppose I say it's 3 for example and I run it it gets 102 what is the total hours total hour is equal to total min divided by 60 so whatever the total minutes are divided them by 60 and store it into the variable of total hours and you will get 1.7 okay and um, the same way you can explore uh, the other exercises as well and that's uh, the end of today's lecture in today's lecture we completed the um, writing your first code and uh, we checked the version of your python and then we worked through the integers then floats and then converting one object type to different object types then we saw the boolean data types true and false zero and one then we worked on the expression um, and the variables Thank you. See you in the next lecture. Take care.